TFNN Headline News Update Here's Tom O'Brien Good Monday morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 9 a.m. Eastern time on Monday, 30 minutes to go until that trading day. And we got markets starting in slightly positive territory. Big week this week, lots of earnings as usual lately. We have a Fed decision coming on Wednesday, all but assured it will be a cut. The only real discussion, 25 basis points or 50 basis points, seems all but assured 25 basis points coming in Wednesday. Anything else would be a surprise in the markets. And then we get jobs data paid. Payroll Friday as well on top of all those earnings. Dow futures right now up 16 points, trading 27,165. S&P's up a point, trading at 3,025. NASDAQ futures up five points at 8,025. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the futures market. We'll start it off with, we'll pull it up. We'll start it off with the Dow. As you can see, near session highs this morning, 27,171 currently on the Dow. We were at Marginally higher about an hour ago. You're talking about only 10 Dow points as we start off the trading week. S&P 500, pretty similar territory. You back things up. The highs of Friday, about 3,029. This morning, we're trading at about 3,025 with 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. NASDAQ 100, trading at 8,029. From early this morning, we were down there at about 8,005. So you're talking about 25 NASDAQ 100 points to the upside from that price level. Crude oil, a little bit of volatility so far this morning, holding above $56. You have crude trading at $56.24. Gold contract, a little bit of volatility as well. Last night, you had gold at $14.23 at, like, at about 9 p.m. Eastern time. Gold trades all the way down to $14.17, currently trading $14.19.84, looking at the August contract. And the euro U.S. dollar backing off a bit, $111.21. In terms of what else you have happening, I mentioned it at the top. The Fed is about to cut rates for the first time since 2008. Pretty remarkable. 11 years that the Fed has not cut, and that is all but assured to be happening Wednesday. Would be a shock to the market. Anything besides a cut, as I mentioned, the only real discussion, 25 or 50 basis points. In deal news, you have Pfizer combining its off-patent drug business with Mylan. So that's generic drug business. We'll pull up those two in a moment. And you also have trade talks beginning in Shanghai with U.S. representatives over there as well. And to pull up Pfizer and, Mar and Mylan, Pfizer backing off on that news to 41.55, closed at 43.09. And Mylan, M-Y-L, trading higher, but off the highs as well. Stay tuned, folks. We got a replay right now at 9. I'll be back at 10 o'clock live with Tom. Have a great Monday.